Okay, the rules of logarithms. So the rules of logarithms are the same as the rules of indices. So if you remember when you multiply two indices, so if I had x a times x b, you add the powers. So x a plus b. So that is the same as this top one here. So you've got to think of logs as the powers. So think of logs as the powers. These are the log bits. So if I added two logs together, which I have here, if you add two logs together, that means you multiply the answers. So you multiply the two answers. So log A, B, and remember, think B and C, think of them as the answer bit. So log A, B plus log A, C is log A, B, C. So if you add two logs together, you multiply the answers. So the base stays the same, the A stays the same, and the big numbers here, they times together. Division is similar. So if you divide indices, you take away the powers. And here we've got an example of the powers, so the logs, the whole things, being taken away. So that's like this. So that means we divide the two answers. So in this case, the two answers, the big numbers are B and C. So we divide them. So if you take away two powers, you divide the answers. And the base number, the base is going to stay the same the whole way through. And finally, we've got log A, log base A, B to the power of C can be written as C times C lots of log AB. So the C can jump to the front. The power can jump to the front. So if you think about the top one, but imagine it was log AB plus log AB equals log ABB. So here I've got B squared. I've got log AB squared. And here I've got two lots of log a b so you can see it's exactly the same as jumping a power to the front so this if a, if you've got a power here it can jump to the front you've got that many times um the log so these are the rules of logs and we need to be able to use them in questions so Okay, so here we've got some questions relating to the rules of logarithms. So we're going to use the rules of logarithms to solve these questions. So the first one, log 3, 8, log base 3, 8 plus log base 3, x is equal to log base 3, 2x minus 6. So I can use the rule which says if I've got two logs of the same base like I have on the left hand side um, added together, that means I multiply the answers, the 8 and the x, think of them as the answer bits. So log base 3, the base stays the same, and you multiply the two answers. So log base 3, 8x is equal to log base 3, 2x minus 6. So I've got two log 3s on both sides, so they're both log 3. So what that means is the red bit, so the 8x, must be the same as 2x minus 6. So I can get rid of the log 3s entirely and rewrite it as 8x equals 2x minus 6. So now I've got a much easier solved question. I'm going to take away 2x from both sides. So I've got 6x is equal to minus 6 and divide by 6 x equals minus 1. The second one, I've got log base 4, 3 minus log base 4, x is equal to 2. So I've got two base 4s on the left side and they're takeaway. So if you take away two powers, you divide the answers. So that gives me log base 4, 3 over x equals 2. So how can I solve this? I need to take it out of log form. So 
I need to rewrite this as a power. So I've got 4 as the base, 2 is the power, and 3 over x is the answer. So 4 squared equals 3 over x. So 16 equals 3 over x. Multiplying both sides by x gives me 16x equals 3. And dividing by 16, x is 3 sixteenths. And finally, so we've got 2 in front of the log here. So I could jump that up if I wanted to. Um, equals log 3x plus 4 plus log 3, 2. So I'm going to use both rules here. So I'm going to jump up the 2 here. So log 3x squared. And then I'm going to use, if you add two powers, you multiply the answers. So I've got log 3 and I've got two lots of 2 times x plus 4, which is 2x plus 8. So what have I got here? I've got a, well, I've got log 3 on both sides, which means my x squared must be equal to 2x plus 8. So I rewrite it without the log 3s. x squared equals 2x plus 8. And now I've got a quadratic. So I'm going to make it equal to 0 and then hopefully factorise it. So if I minus 2x from both sides and minus 8 from both sides, make it equal to 0. I'm going to put it into two sets of brackets. So we've got what multiplies to make 8 adds to make 2. It's going to be a minus 4 and a plus 2. So that means x is 4 or minus 2. Okay, so here's a few more questions. Uh, pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll go through the answer after. Okay, so the first one, we've got um, two logs with the same base added together. So that means we can times the two answers. So log base 3, 2y times 8, that would be 16y, equals log base 3, 4y minus 6. So again, I've got log 3 on both sides. So that means this answer bit must equal this answer bit. So I can rewrite it. 16y equals 4y minus 6. So if I subtract 4y from both sides, 12y is equal to minus 6. Divide both sides by 12. So where will be minus a half. Okay, the second one. So I've got a minus. I've got two logs with the same base subtracted. So I can divide the two answers. So that would be log base 4. X over 4 equals 3. So to solve this one, I'm going to take it out of log form. So that will give me 4 cubed equals x over 4. So 4 cubed will be 64. So 64 equals x over 4. And then I need to do 64 times 4. So x is 256. And finally the last one. So we're going to jump up the 2 here, and we're going to multiply these two together on this side. So log 3x squared equals log 3. So I've got two lots of 4x minus 8, which is going to give me 8x minus 16. I've got log 3 on both sides, so that means these two answer bits must equal. So I've got x squared equals 8x minus 16 minus 8x from both sides plus 16 to both sides so I can factorize what multiplies to make 16 positive 16 and adds to make a negative 8 it's minus 4 minus 4 
So x equals 4.